Schenge visa allows you to travel in 26 countries and I'm sharing this video because recently one of my subscribers applied for a Schenge visa went to Belgium and he was able to secure a job in Belgium <music> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're joining me for the very first time, my name is Fajira. I'm so happy to have you in my beautiful family. And for my returning subscribers, thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos. I really do appreciate God bless you. And if you're here for the very first time and you're yet to subscribe to join our beautiful family, please do not forget to hit on that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, so each time I upload a new video, you're going to be the very first person to see that video. So guys, let's quickly dive right into today's video. Applying for Chenge visa can be very tedious, and especially when you're not sure of the particular country you want to apply as your point of entry, it can make it more difficult for you. Schengen Visa allows you to travel in 26 countries. Today's video, I'm going to share with you the 12 easiest countries you can apply your Schengen Visa, which means that if you're applying for a Schengen Visa, the 12 easiest countries that you can use as your point of entry. Because most times we usually apply for France, Germany, those are hot cakes when it comes to Schengen Visa. So in today's video, I'm going to give you 12 easiest countries you can choose. And once you arrive in those countries, you can go around the 26 countries if you've got the time this visa is a visiting visa but the good thing about this visiting visa which is a Schengen visa it allows you to stay in those countries for up to 90 days or for up to 30 days and which gives you enough time for you to look for jobs speak to employers that will be willing to to give you a job offer then you can now go back to your country to apply for a visa I'm not saying they are going to employ you on a visiting visa. It also gives you the opportunity to be on ground while you're looking out for the job you've been applying for from overseas. So I'm also sharing this because even somebody who even came visiting in the UK was able to get in touch with an employer that employed her but not on a visiting visa, did everything, paperwork, and the person went back to her country to apply for a visa. This is a great opportunity I will advise that if you're still looking at traveling overseas, you can use a Schengen visa to go around, tour around, and be able to secure a job and go back to your country to apply for a visa. I'm going to share my screen right now. So you can see the easiest countries you can apply for a Shanghai visa. Because if you apply for a country like France, you're not like up to 50% sure that you're going to get. But if you apply for a, a country that is not as big as France, you're sure of getting it. And once you arrive in that country, you can travel from one of those countries. You can even go to the France, but using that country as your point of entry. So guys, let's quickly dive right into the video obtaining a Schengen visa from a non-eu country can be a nightmare due to the lengthy processing times numerous paperwork requirements and significant delays so just as you can see on my screen 12 easiest countries to get a Schengen visa first on my list is lithuania just as you can see on my screen lithuania officially the republic of lithuania is a country in europe a Balic region that is one of the easiest to obtain a Schengen visa. In total, 98.7 of those who applied for a Schengen visa to Lithuania received a positive response. So, so if you are applying for a Schengen visa, instead of you to always go for the uh, France and other countries that will be difficult, the Lithuania is a very good advantage for you, just as you can see. So for them, unlike other popular countries such as France and Germany, Lithuania receives fewer applications, which means that if you apply for a visa for this country, you will have a shorter wait time for an appointment. So you can start looking at that from now. So the second on my list is Estonia. So if you're applying for a Schengen visa from Estonia, it's very easy. Estonia, a, a Northern European country, bordering the Baltic Sea and the Gulf of Finland is also on the list of the easiest EU countries to get a visa from. According to 2018 rejection rates, only 1.6% of applications lodged at Estonia embassies abroad were rejected, while the rest were granted access to the Schengen area with a short-term visa. So, furthermore, Estonia is a sixth Schengen country with the fewest visa applications, implying that its embassies are less crowded so if you are planning your thinking of a chenga visa this is another country that you can apply to and the next on my list is finland finland is a country in northern europe that borders sweden norway and russia with a lower rejection rate obtaining a visa should not be a problem however in order for your applications to 
be accepted, you must provide proof of overseas medical insurance. So medical insurance is an insurance you can even do online. That's to show that you've already covered yourself. In case you fall sick in overseas, you're already covered that you will get a medical attention. The first one on my list is Iceland, a Nordic island nation to the Chenge area with only 1.7% of application rejection in 2018. So you can see that this particular countries, you can actually apply for your Chenge visa and you will get a positive feedback, hopefully. Fifth on my list is Latvia. The country on the Baltic Sea between Lithuania and Estonia is another Chengai country from which it is easier to obtain a Chengai visa. According to the report, only 2.1% of the applications received were rejected, implying that you have a good chance of getting a visa from this country. So if you're applying to this country, you're, you're sure of getting a visa. The sixth easiest country you can apply your Chengai visa to is Poland. Officially, the Republic of Poland is a Central European country that is also easier to obtain a visa. Despite a 0.9% with Latvia, applicants for a Chengai visa to Poland have a 97% chances of being approved. So the Central European country had a visa rejection rate of only 3%, which is not bad compared to other countries, especially France and Germany. Like if you want to apply for a Chengai visa to France and Germany, it is always, always, always very difficult. But, but if you choose this other countries it's going to be way easier for you next on my list is Luxembourg and Luxembourg is a small European country surrounded by Belgium so remember I mentioned to you that the person one of my subscribers that got a job he got his job from Belgium and he's gone back to his country now to apply for a work permit from there they've given him everything he needs for his application Luxembourg a small European country surrounded by Belgium France and Germany maybe the simplest way to enter a Chenga, especially if you intend to visit its neighboring countries with only a 3.7 percent rejection rate if you're thinking about uh, applying for a Chenga visa so this is another opportunity for you to apply to this country so the next on my list which is the eighth one on my list the eighth easiest country you can apply your Schengen visa to is slovakia slovakia officially the slovak republic is a landlocked country in central europe those who apply for a Schengen visa at a slovak consulate have a 95.8 percent chance of being approved slovakia's embassies abroad rejection only 4.2 percent of the applications received making it the fifth Chengai country with the fewest applications so you can start looking at this country you can make your application to this country and once you arrive you can go to the neighboring countries or you can actually stay here to do whatever you want to do before going back to your country so the next one is the Czech Republic so the Czech Republic also known as the Czechia is a landlocked country in Central Europe that is also considered an easy country to obtain a Chengai visa the Czech Republic in particular has a visa approval rate of 95.3%. So if you're thinking about uh, relocating, apply to the Czech Republic. From there, you can now make your moves. Remember, you can use this Schengen visa for up to 26 countries. So it depends on your pocket. <laughs> so, it so if you're watching this video till now and you're yet to subscribe to join our beautiful family, please do click on that subscribe button turn on the notification before i continue so let's go to the 10th one on my list next one on my list is greece and greece is a country in the southern eastern europe it's the fifth most popular destination for short-term visitors to the Chenga area the greek embassies abroad approved 95.1 percent of the applications received last year this place is greece among the countries where obtaining a Schengen visa is simple so just as you can see you can try that next one on my list is Belgium so Belgium a country in the Western Europe only has a 5.55 percent rejection rate for visa applications the region bordered by Germany the Netherlands France and Luxembourg has a rich cultural heritage and offers visitors the opportunity to explore its many beautiful historical cities so Another thing you can do when applying, you can look at the countries that are also closer to the one you want to go to. If the one you want to go and job hunt or the one you want to go for tourism, you can look at for countries that are very close to it. Twelfth one on my list is Switzerland. So Switzerland is one of the most sought after tourist destinations in the world. And it is famed for the beautiful Swiss Alps and 
breathtaking landscape and with a lesser number of rejection rates you can easily plan a swiss trip without much thinking so always carry your id or passport when traveling in the chenga area as there are random passport checks despite the absence of border controls many chenga countries require foreign nationals to carry proof of identity so as you can see on my screen these are the easiest countries you can apply uh, your chenga visa for and once you get the visa you can now use it to travel to the actual country that is in your mind but one of the advice i would give to you is that when choosing the countries look at the boundaries of the countries you have chosen so that when you're traveling you will not have to spend so much in flying from one country to the other so look at the countries that are closer to where you want to go to and apply to that particular country so all you could do is to take a bus i remember when i went to france uh some years ago from France, we took a bus to Amsterdam. So it was very easy for us to travel on the bus because they are neighboring countries. So like I said, you can start thinking outside the bus from now. I'm sharing this because of one of my subscribers that got in touch with me to tell me what he did differently that has made his life change totally now. He said he's gone to his country to apply for his visa and is waiting for his visa to come out and he will travel back to Belgium. So. You can try this means if you have the money to spend or if you're going for tourism, you can also try this means instead of going to apply for France, like we all know how difficult France can be most of the time or Germany can be because those are hot cakes. Instead of you to apply for those ones, you can try these other countries I have shared in this video. Oh guys, uh, this is even an eye opener for me. So like I said, I'm sharing this because one of my subscribers recently did what I just explained and it's worked for him. As earlier mentioned, instead of you to always target France, Germany when apply for a Schengen visa, these are other countries that you can also explore and see because their rejection rate is not as high as France and Germany. So if you give it a try, and what I would advise that when giving it a try, look out for the surrounding countries around where you want to apply to. Just like my one of my subscribers mentioned, I don't know the particular country he applied to, but he ended up getting a job in Belgium. Look out for the surrounding countries around the country you want to apply as your point of entry before you can apply. I'm not saying that this is going to give you a job automatically, but someone did something like this and it worked for the person, which is why I have to go and do a research and film this video. So I would advise you to share this video with your friends, share it with your loved ones. It may help somebody out or even if you're going for holiday, you're going for tourism, instead of being rejected after supplying all the documents and you're not sure of getting the visa, you can choose one of these countries I've mentioned there and you visit that one and move to the next one because you have 26 countries you can explore. So it gives you opportunities for you to do whatever you want to do for as long as you want to do it. Remember this visa you can apply for it for up to 30 days and also for up to 90 days I think here. Yeah. So just do your independent search as well before you apply. So we've actually come to the end of this video. So if you find this video helpful, hit on that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so each time I upload a new video you're going to be the very first person to see that video also like this video it helps my channel so guys take care and see you right in my next video thank you for watching and bye bye for now